Check this out. How you doing, bro? My name is Seth, man. My name is Rick. All right, it's nice to meet you, man. Now, I understand. What's your name? All right. Well, it ain't about. It, we have been wrong. I, 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 we were wrong at one time. That is the Bible. Right. Okay. So now you said it's a white person book, right? So now give me Revelation. Okay. Give me Revelation thir uh, ten and thirteen. I'm gonna show you something right quick, right? I, I'm gonna see if this is a white person's book and I read that. He that leadeth in the captivity. Right, right. Yeah, read that for me. Check this out. Read this. Read that. Read that. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So the Bible says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, right? Who put us in captivity? I want to talk to you. No, no, no. Who, who, who put, who put uh, those, those, those whips upon our backs and stuff like that? White people, right? Did they not? Oh, I want to talk to you, bro, because you was the nigga out here shutting everybody down. Right, some I of our people were you, here. Nigga. I'm going to shut you down. They did not bring you all this shit. shit. They did. Right no, they did. Put the mic down. They did. Bro, that's these niggas problems, bro. They want to hurt them. They did. I'll show you that. Give me second entrance. Oh, CD, bro. Nigga, I said all these niggas are in this shit. We are in this shit. We are in this shit. Right. I agree with you said. Don't get me wrong. I completely agree with what you said because we did have some people that were here before they got here, but we also had some of our people that lived in Africa in the west coast of Africa. So I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying. What you're saying is 100% correct. We did have people over here. That is 100% true. So I, and I'm gonna prove that to you real quick. Second Ezra chapter 13 and verse 40. Those are the ten tribes. Hey, Michael, what, why, why are you so upset with us, bro? Because y'all always come over. Y'all want to talk on y'all mics. Uh -huh. And then when niggas talk to y'all, bro, y'all want to talk on the mic. And then y'all want to over talk to everybody and not, not, not let nobody talk, bro. I'm letting you talk now, bro. No, no, nigga, put the mic down and talk to me. But the reason that I have the mic out is so that everybody can hear us. That's why we have it. I'm talking to you right now. But read that for me. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land. It says we were carried away prisoners out of our own land. Come on. In the time of Hosea, the king, whom Salamancer, the king of Assyria, led away captive, and he carried them over the waters. And so came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heat because we took the uh, we took the counsel among ourselves that we would leave the multitude of the heathen and where did we go? Go ahead and go forth into a further country. You hear what he said? He said, "Hey, let the brother speak. We we out here trying to read that again." But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen. Right, so they said they was going to leave the multitude of the heathen. Come on. And go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. Right. So what's, what's not helping you? The Bible's not helping you? No, no, the Bible don't help you, shit. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Uh-huh. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Back up just a little bit. Just back up a little bit, bro. Just back up a little bit. We just asking that you back up. That's all that we asking, bro. So now, so at, what was the question that you had, brother? Put the mic down, bro. Put the mic down and talk to me, bro, like a man. That's how y'all over talk people. What? Uh huh. Right. Uh huh. It's not me. It's it's God. That's right. So this is showing. Uh huh. That's what you want me to answer. So, we are the Israelites according to the Bible. We 
are suffering these curses because we left what the Bible told us. Why do we shoot everybody? Why do we? Why are we the only community of people that shoot everybody every single day? Why is it that we, as a community of people, have so many problems in the black community? Yeah, we do. We claim games. Why we claim games? No, we get no. But guess what? They rule the world. Why? So. Give me envy now, thou not the oppressor. Give me Proverbs 3. So are we going to do what they did? Are we going to jump off a bridge because they jump off a bridge? Right, right. Are you going to jump off a bridge? No, I'm not. I'm going to follow God, what this Bible says. Read that. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Envy them not the oppressor. So why, why, why are we in games? Why? why? Why do we support games? Why? Bring it up. I don't support games. I don't so because why? Games is one of the number one killers. That's why this is happening because we are not keeping God's laws. Uh huh. That's order. I'm gonna show you this. Read that for me. I'm gonna show you order in the Bible. Read that. Ezekiel 37. Because what's happened is our communities have not known order. There is no order in the black community. That's why we have a high murder rate. That's why we have a high drug rate. Right. That's why we have a high rate of single parent households. Right. Right. Why, when are we going to change these things? Right. Where, what are the solutions to build the black community up? Read this. Hold on. Hold on. Read this. Ezekiel chapter 37. Read right. verse 10. I'm about to show you order in the black community. Read that. So I prophesied as he commanded me. And the blood came into them. And they lived and stood up upon their feet. An exceeding great army. We are that exceeding great army that you see rising up today, right now. That is order. Our people don't know order. We're not gangbanging. No. We don't gangbang. You know why? Because we got love for our people. We out here trying to, we, hey, brother, come talk to me, bro. Come holler at me. We out here trying to get the black community to raise back up to who they supposed to be. But why is he so upset? Why is he so upset? Because our people are not living according to the Bible. Now, go back to Leviticus 19. Leviticus 19. Let me ask you a question, bro. Let me ask you a question, bro. Uh-huh. What's going G? What do you know about Charles Pardo? Nigga, that started the motherfucking Pentecostal nigga in 1901. We don't follow Pentecostal. We don't. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Nigga, let's talk about it. We are talking about it. We right here. We don't, those are false religions. Those are false religions. No, they didn't create this Bible. They didn't create this Bible. I'm going to show you who created the Bible. Give me songs. No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Hold on, hold, go back to Leviticus 19 real quick. Read that. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate. Thy brother in thine heart. Because, hey, yes, you do hate me, bro. No. No, bro, all we ask is that you give us our space, bro. That's all we ask. All right, come on. Thou shalt any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Read it from the top again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. The Bible says don't hate. You do hate. Look at how you came to us based off of how you ca uh, we came to you. That's hate. That is hate, bro. I'm not forcing you to yell. I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Now, give me Psalm 40. Right, so everybody can hear. So everybody can hear. Read that for me. Where it talks about, uh, where uh, God gave the word. What are you talking about? What you mean? And then you got these niggas over here like they gonna do something to me, bro. No, we not, look, this is the thing, bro. We not out here to fight, bro. 
we not out here to do that. What we out here to do is to wake up the black community. I'm going to show you. Read that. No, you not woke. Give me, hold that. Give me Romans chapter 13. You not woke, bro, because are you keeping the commandments? Yes, I am. No, I don't. I don't eat pork. No, I don't. Okay? We The meat is lawful according to the Bible. Yes, it is. We, there's a dietary law on meat. Where's that at in the Bible? Give me that. Read that. Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. It is time for us to awake out of sleep, bro. It's time now we come up now. Get the dietary law. Watch out. Dietary law. Uh-huh. That, that keeps you suppressed. Brother, what happens is you running away from the pain that life brings. That's why you do those things. That's why you smoke, and that's why you get drunk. We all have issues. We all grow up in broken communities, broken households. That's why we turn to drugs. That's why we turn to gangs. That's why we turn to weed. That's why we do those things because of the situations that we were brought up in today. It is time that we wake up and stand up for the black community. Who is going to fix the black community today? Read this. I'm reading the book. Read that. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 2. Lord, speak unto the children of Israel. Whether you know it or not, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the real Israelites according to the Bible. No, bro. Hey, back up, bro. Hey, back up. Just back up. Back up, bro. Hey, just back up. Just back up. Just back up, bro. Back up. We out here waking up the people. Just back up, bro. Back up. Romans 13. Back up. Back up, bro. We not about that. We not about that, bro. Romans 13. See what I mean, bro? This is what we out here trying to do. Is wake our people up. And yet our people have so much hate that we don't want to listen to what this Bible actually says. Read that again. Go back to what it says. Read that again. Go back to Leviticus 19. Hey, Leviticus 19. Read that again. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother. The Bible says, thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Come on. Thus, thou shalt any words rebuke thy neighbor. So I got a question, sisters. What is so wrong about what we bringing out right now? What is so wrong about what we trying to do in waking up the black community? I just say everybody that they own the Right. So I got, I got something for you. I woke, I, I, I woke up yesterday. I won't even say woke up. But I get a message yesterday at 1230 that a friend that I grew up with in school was shot dead on the highway. We got multiple of our people dying every single day. Why is that happening in the black community? It, right? Right, we shouldn't, right? Exactly. Now... Right, right. Now listen to this for me real quick. Read that. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. What, whatever they may believe, I don't hate them. I don't hate y'all. We could have been doing something better. We could have been at home with our families. But we took the time out today to come and try to wake our people up to the truth. Why is it that our people have so much hate for us? I see Christ in you and I see Christ in them. And I want our people to rise back up to the royalty that we once was. But it can't happen without God's laws. Come on. Thou shalt, that he was, rebuke thy neighbor. The Bible says that we are supposed to correct our people when they're doing wrong. But the black community doesn't want correction. They don't listen. Give me that in Ezekiel 3. I'm going to show you, sis, what you said is in the Bible. Look, come, come talk to me. What you said is in the Bible. That is correct. Read that for me. Ezekiel chapter 3 or 2. Read that for me. Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 7. And thou shalt speak my words unto them. 
God said we're going to speak his words unto our people. Come on. Whether they will hear. Well, it says whether they will hear. Or whether they will forbear. Or whether they don't want to hear it. Come on. For they are most rebellious. They are what? Most rebellious. Our people are most rebellious. Anything good when we try to come up, they buck up against it. I've been through this before. I'm not speaking for something that I ain't came out of. I've been through the drugs. I've been through the gangs. I've been in jail. All of that stuff, right? Where has that left me? What is that giving me? Nothing. But now I have something to build upon, which is this Bible. Because guess what? These men that you see standing up right here, we wasn't always like this. We had to realize that we were wrong. That the, Yeah, we had to make changes. Guess what? Now we have wives. We take care of our wives. We take care of our children. Right? We uplift, we uplift our communities. We build. This is what we're doing. So what's so wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing is wrong with that. But read that again. This is what happens. Read that. Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 7. And thou shalt speak my words unto them. Because at the end of the day, God's word is true. Amongst all of what's happening right now, God is speaking to you right now. Whether you want to believe it or not. And don't believe it just because I said it. Go and look into it and read for yourself, right? Come on. Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Right? For they are most rebellious. Because our people are most rebellious. And this is what happens. Our people are so full of hurt, so full of pain, so full of destruction that they want to let it out somehow. And I understand he really ain't mad at me. He's just mad at the oppression that we grew up in. That's what we're upset about. Because think about it as so-called black people. Look at all the things that we go through. We got Planned Parenthood. They strategically put drugs in our neighborhood. They strategically make crime bigger in our neighborhood. Think about it. Bloods and Crips and GDs wasn't even a big, Bloods and Crips wasn't even a thing, right? But until they put colors in the movies, on the movie theater, now everybody want to be a Blood. Now everybody want to be a Crip. Now everybody want to be a GD. They put these in our communities to destroy us as a people. Because what do we do? We end up killing our own people. Give me that where it says to follow now, not a multitude to do evil. I'm going to show you this. What we thought with with this book, I will say, they took this book and they tried to use it against us. But this book is their damnation. This book talks about them being destroyed for what they did to us. But we got to come back and keep in God's laws. Read that. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. The Bible says don't follow a multitude to do evil. Uh Uh-huh. Because of the uh, oppressors, our white man. Because the white man did it to us. Uh Uh-huh. Come when we're poor, uh-huh. understand each other. We always want to divide each other, be better than what he is. Oh, nigga, we, oh, we know something. Except for not two or one. We know something better than you. They know something better than me. They know something better than me. That's why we are divided. We say uh-huh. the same thing, but different ways. Only come together on that. I'll show you. Hold Zephaniah uh, 2 and 1. Give me Amos 3 and 3. I- I'm about to show you that in the Bible. I know you don't believe in the Bible, but I do. I hold on to these because this is belief. This is what's true. So I'm going to show you what the Bible says in Amos. Read that for me. Amos chapter 3 and verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? The Bible says, can two walk together except they be agreed? For example, if I'm trying to build a community, but we got thieves in the community, how can I let them build with me if they're going to steal? If I want to build a community and we have hom- uh, uh, pedophiles or homosexuality, how can I build with them and they're going against everything I'm trying to build, right? Right, right, right. right. You're building right. something, right? So That's you must have people to push that bullshit out to build. Exactly. Right. Right. To build, my God. Right. Uh, 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 look down on them because they going through something. They said Jesus walked with who? The thieves, the murderers, and the hoes? Right or wrong? Didn't he say that? But what did he teach them to do? So I see what you're saying. Uh huh. 
Have a have a conversation. Have a conversation. You got the mic in your hand, boss. That's all I'm saying, boss. Put the mic down. But what, what we out here doing? What we out, but what did he teach them? Read that for me. He taught them to repent. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Now give me the one in Matthew 4 and Luke 4 where it says Christ told them uh, to repent. So, yes, Christ did walk amongst them, but he also told them to repent. To change, matter of fact, um, no, give me that. Give me the one where it says that uh, uh, they caught her in the very act of fornication. John 8. Watch this. I'm going to show you this because Christ was, he did walk amongst them, right? So read the, watch this, watch this. John chapter 8 and verse 3. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. So they brought to Christ a woman in adultery, right? So obviously you would call this a hoe, right? If she going from one man to man to man, right? Come on. And when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. So they caught her in the very act, meaning she was getting it in with another dude and they brought her to Christ, right? Come on. Get to the point. Read. When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? She said, no man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. What did he tell the hoe? Go and sin no more. He told that hoe to go and sin no more. So yeah, we amongst our people telling them what? Yeah, we amongst all the people that support that are doing wrong, right? But we're preaching repentance that they sin no more. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.